morning, YTPC. Welcome back to the Shire Shed. I am Sonny. You are you. As you can tell from the thumbnail and title of this video, today I'll be doing an actual review of Haunted Bookshop by Cornell and Deal. This is a special review to me. Because this is not a blend I started out liking in the slightest. But now, it's become one of my all-time favorite blends. Certainly my daily. I absolutely love this blend. I'm going to get right to it and say that. It's... Yeah. If you know, you know. If you're a if you're a haunted bookshop fan, you understand. Sorry. It's hitting the spot today. More than usual. <clears throat> I am having it in my Rossi, I think this is, I just call it the matches pipe. It, it's, just look. Beautiful pipe. I love this thing. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with Rossi's, man. Anyway, this isn't a pipe review. This is a review about Haunted Bookshop. It's a blend that is very polarizing. It seems that everybody that tries it either loves it or hates it. To be honest, I haven't seen any in between. I haven't heard anyone that says, oh, it's okay. Either it's, I smoke that shit every day, or I wouldn't use that shit to fertilize my lawn. So, look, I understand both sides. Given that I mentioned that when I first tried this, I hated it. And when I say hated it, I was like, this is awful. Why do people like this so much? But I just don't think my head was there yet. I think what I was looking for at the time was something that was just going to wow me right off the bat. Like first puff, holy crap, this is amazing, oh my god. It, I could taste this and this and this and this and this and this and it's amazing and it tastes great and blah. First time you smoke on a bookshop doesn't do that. At least for the people that, like me, didn't like it at first, but eventually came to love it. It doesn't wow you right off the bat. That's not that's not how haunted bookshop plays plays the game. And given that I've been pretty much smoking it basically every day, almost every day, for almost exactly a year, I can tell you that I've come to know this blend pretty well. It, uh, for me, it's a very good kind of anytime blend. <clears throat> it, uh,
it's easy to pack, easy to light. You can throw it in a pouch, you can throw it in one of the uh, one of the little mini tins that are sold. You can throw it in a cob, you can throw it in a briar, you can throw it in a meerschaum, you can throw it in a clay, whatever you want, and it'll smoke. And more or less, more or less it'll maintain the basic same fl flavor profile across each of those smoking apparati. So, in terms of that, that's, I mean, you can't really beat that, right? And then on top of that, it's offered in bulk. It's offered in tins. It's offered in a cake. I think the only thing that they don't offer it in, which, by the way, would be amazing, is Cornell and Deal Broken Flake. Their, you know, their version of a flake. And I think that would be just kick-ass. So, you have ease. You have convenience. And then getting into the the flavor profiles. It's not going to knock your socks off. Like I said, the first time. What it's going to do is it's going to make you dig. If it's something that you want to like. Now, I... A year ago, I... I was like, I'm not a burly guy. I'm a Perique guy. And I still am. We'll get to that. I still am a Perique guy. Very much so. And... Some of my favorite blends, which haven't really changed at that point, were Cajun Cake, Chenet's Cake, The Beast. Anything with a ton of Perique in it, I was like, gimme, 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 gimme. I want that. I need that. I put it in my pipe and let's, let's go. And along with that, uh, Virginia Perique's. I wasn't a burly guy. I was like, I don't get it. I don't get burlies. It took me quite a while, off and on, to understand burlies and understand what makes them great. The blend that I would consider the gateway blend that got me into Haunted Bookshop is Burley Flake number one. Bit of a misnomer in my opinion. I feel like Burley Flake number one is less burly, more Red Virginia. However, it was enough burly to get me interested. It was enough burly that once I could pick out and separate the notes that I was getting in Burley Flake number one. Once I found the Burley, I was like, ooh, that's nice. Oh, by the way, Dunkin' Donuts, medium roast in the Ohio State coffee mug. So, once I was able to separate those, those flavor profiles and those notes, I'm like, okay, I think I get it. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to give Haunted Bookshop one more shot. And if I don't like it this time, that's it. I'm done. I'm done trying it. I'm going to give it to somebody else. That'll be it. Well, as you know, that didn't happen. I absolutely, unequivocally love Haunted Bookshop. I tried it. And in fact, it was around 
when I took my trip to Kentucky last year, I just took a a bunch of Burley Flake number one, and I took Carolina Red Flake with Perique, and I took Anthology. Those were the blends that I took with me on that trip to Kentucky. I must have had four or five bowls of that Burley Flake number one each day. And then I, when I got home from Kentucky, that's when I was like, okay, I'm going to give Haunted Bookshop one last go. And the rest is history. I literally smoke this almost every day at work, if I can. And if I do smoke anything at work, it's 100% Haunted Bookshop. So let's get into the actual notes and, and the in tobacco reviews after I get this relit. And uh, see what we can find. Relights are a breeze. All right, so I've got it pulled up here. Cornell and Deal Haunted Bookshop. A predominantly burly mixture with a touch of red Virginia and Perique. Remember how I mentioned Perique earlier? Yeah. It's here. Notes. Another of the late Bob Ranowski's blends, named in honor of the famous novel written by Christopher Morley, Haunted Bookshop is a Burley and Virginia blend with just a touch of Perique. Now... Hold on a second. I've got a little bit of gurgle. If any of you had to see my armpit th just then, I'm sorry. That's a freebie. You get that for free. Okay, so... In my review... Well, we'll call it a review. But last year I did a video entitled... So, something happened. And I was referring to, hey, I like Haunted Bookshop now. Little did I know it would basically be my daily smoke. Honestly, I had no idea that was going to happen. So, uh, in that video, I I said pretty steadfastly that I believed that this needed more Perique. Well, I don't think it does. I think uh, now that I've sat with it for a year, really gotten to know it, it's perfect the way it is. Uh, the Red Virginias, the Burleys, the Perique, they all play so well together. And you all know how much I love Cornell and Deal's Red Virginias. They have this awesome tang to them. And that plays so well with the Perique in this. And then the Burley kind of acts like the grown adult in the room going, hey, Settle down just a little. It's a blend that I 100% will always have on hand. At least a pound, if not more. Which is wild, considering that I started out with just 110. And here we are. Uh... I believe that 10 was purchased in 2020. Yeah, that 10's long gone. I mean, I still have the 10 itself, but it's empty. It's been empty. I've probably gone through a pound of this easily.
So, Jim Inc. says something in here that I thought was kind of funny. And I'm going to poke a little fun at him. Jim, uh, this this isn't meant maliciously or anything. You mentioned in, in your review of this um, that it's not an all-day smoke. You could not be more wrong, sir. This. This harkens back to, like, Granger to me or Sir Walter Raleigh or it, really any of the Codger blends. It's uh, basically almost like a modernized version of those. Uh, there's no topping on it. There's nothing added. There's It's just... It's just perfect the way it is, in my opinion. So... He does say, not an all-day smoke, but if you want a strong burly with a kick, it'll satisfy. I mean, yes, that's that's true, except for the not an all-day smoke part. That This is 100% an all-day smoke. If you can handle it. If you can handle it. Uh, so, strength is closer to strong than it is to medium. Taste is a step shy of being full. Eh. Sort of agree. Nick Hit is near the center of medium to strong. I agree. Uh, burns cool and clean at a moderate pace with a very consistent flavor. But puff slowly or risk a cigarette-like ashy taste. Mm, I don't know. I feel like the pipe makes a big difference. That's why I only smoke it in my 6.7.3s. That said, earlier I mentioned that this will smoke perfectly fine and pretty much the same in any pipe you put it in. I will say that, and I don't know, and look, this could very well be in my head, but I feel like this blend performs the best in a 673. And I think we all know why. If it's not in my head. It probably is. I'm cool with that. I'm fine. Anyway. It smokes great in a 673. However. Just. I won't say it's less good in a cob. It's just different in a cob. It's very weird. Uh, so. Leaves virtually no moisture in the bowl. That's very true. Uh, the only reason I get a gurgle is because I'm all, all spit. And whatever. Uh, has a long-lasting aftertaste. Yes, that is true. And I love it. The room note is pungent and won't make your relatives happy. Also true. My wife hates how this stuff smells. Uh, but if you don't like them, this will increase your enjoyment. Three and a half stars. I give this a full five stars. I know they don't have five stars on tobacco reviews, but I'm giving it five. So. Haunted Bookshop. We've been well acquainted for a year or a little over a year now. This blend will always go with me. It's always with me in a tin in my truck. It's always here in the shed. It's usually just right up there. You can't see that, but it's usually right up there and in this big thing. And then I've got like four or five more full quart jars. It will always be in the Shire Shed. It will always be here. So. What do I think? 
I love Haunted Bookshop. And if you haven't begun your Burley journey yet, I look forward to it for you. Haunted Bookshop. If you know, you know. And with that, I'm going to close this video out. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, wonderful Saturday. I will see you all tomorrow for a new review on a blend that I don't really see reviewed too often. So I look forward greatly to that. So have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. If you do, don't get caught. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.